chapter for though today like i said this week we're playing lucky numbers so without further ado let's get into it and start playing a couple games of lucky numbers so um, we'll join this table see if we can get the game started so i hope everybody's having a good afternoon it's wednesday afternoon great to be here i hope you're enjoying yourself and having a good day um yeah, this week we've been doing our Lucky Numbers series on Board Game Arena, so that's the platform we're using um, at BoardGameArena.com. And the game is Lucky Numbers. This is a game from 1 to 20. You place the numbers on the board. Every There's a set of numbers for every player. Um, you draw them from a stack. You start out with four numbers on diagonal in the standard setup, and your goal is to place the numbers on the board in increasing order from top to bottom and left to right. Uh, looks like we're getting some delay here in the game. Somebody's not starting it. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, there's a diagonal numbers here. I found that the easiest way to play this game is that it's spaced. Everybody will draw from the stack. You can either put the number on the board, switch it out for a number you have, or drop that number to the table. Your goal is to be the first person to complete the card from num with numbers from 1 to 20. Set num numbers for each person. The petal colors don't really matter on the, on the clovers. So they're just there to tell the sets apart. So we have a pretty good spread here to start with. So I'm going to grab the 9 and put it down here in the corner. I like to anchor my corners in left to right and top to bottom. And then fill them in from the sides. So if you work from that solid base out rather than trying to work in, it gives you better variety. But sometimes the numbers don't let you do that. So let's see how the luck of the draw goes this afternoon. Um, if you had a higher number here, I would say take the 1. But 4 isn't too bad right now. We'll leave it sit out there for a while. Um, possibly pick that one up later. None of the ones have come out yet, so we're in good shape. There are some 20s. It's always a good idea to try to up this number as high as possible. I try to play minimally with an 18 or a 19, but we can squeeze it out with a 16 if we're careful. And, and luck is on our side. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, enjoying it. Halfway through the week, it's hump day today. Um, uh, let's see how well we do this time. Two. Okay, that one I'm not going to pass up. That two is close enough to a one that we'll grab it. Unfortunately, we'll probably lose this four to somebody else, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So, 19 is no help to him. And probably trade out the 16. If he doesn't, we may take a chance to trade out the 16. We're pretty good on... Where we're at, we're only one out from the leader, and he didn't. So we're going to take that 19, and drop it in here. The two 16s are probably going to go with one of these three people. Are probably going to take the other two 16s. So we're bypassing that opportunity. But there's still some good numbers in the in the stack. It's early in the game yet. Ooh, we didn't take the 16. Okay. Well, let's see what happens next. Okay, we're waiting on the person here at the end, possibly contemplating at 16 or something else. Let's see what they do. Um, hope you're enjoying today, this afternoon. My name is Andrew Magus. I'm new here to Twitch, um, but I'm hoping you're enjoying it. If you like this type of content, please follow me, and um, you know I'm more than happy to bring it to you uh, at the top of the stream i showed you the new release of root on steam i'm looking forward to playing that and hopefully we can learn that together and I'll do some playthroughs of that online uh, in a future episode um i take the games that we play on here and i post most of them to youtube i'm my channel over there is adventures with andrew magus please check that out um i plan to have more content on there than just um gaming but you know i'm hoping to be a variety um have a variety channel over there so, so we're going to take that forward and use that put that here um and then we're going to take the let's see what he does with the 13. um 
don't mind that. That's the phone. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off at the studio this afternoon. So, all right. So, for both bypass ones. We all have a pretty good lower range up here, so nobody's gonna waste a move on that. The 18 gives a good solid block down here. I like to form solid blocks on top and the bottom or in the corners and work my way in. Um, and try to leave gaps here. I usually try to leave gaps of about five or six numbers where I need to between spaces. Sometimes you can't always do that, but it seems to help. All right. So we're well then. We're about halfway there. So I'm about two out from the leader. You can tell that over here on the board. It shows you 9 to 11, 16, and 2 eights. So we're in about second place right now. Let's try to take the lead. If we can get some luck here and they have to do some draws, we'll be in good shape. So there's nothing to miss on this board, though, that you know should cause them a problem right now. It's probably going to boil down to what they draw out of the stack. So so let's see what happens. A 14. Oh, that 7 is good for me. We'll take that and put that there. So we've got our top row done. We're pretty close to having our right side done. And we'll work our way over to the left from there. So uh, good defensive strategy is to watch what your player is doing on the right and try to drop numbers that they can't use. Numbers like that would be match, numbers that match on the left or right or the, the areas around the empty clovers. If they match, they won't be able to play them. Uh, also, if you have a, a juxtaposed number where the the number below you uh, or the number above you is higher than the one you're trying to place, you won't be able to place something there either. So so we, we try to watch for those things and capitalize on them to maximize our position. So, so we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we have good form. We just have one empty spot here. And then once we get this filled in, this force should be pretty simple to fill in if the luck of the stack of the draw is with us. So let's see what happens. Ooh, a 20, that's not going to be a help. And it's too late in the game for us to take that 20, so we're going to just leave it sit up there. We should have a good variety of numbers in there that will work to our benefit. And we get a 22. We'll throw a 20 up. I don't want to release that 19, because that, that would be a benefit to the player over here. Or it could be a benefit here. So... 18 might be good in some circumstances, but again, we don't want to switch that 16 out because it does provide help to some of these other people. So we'll let that go too. Let's see where he puts the 9. Now, he wouldn't be able to put the 9 here because the 14 would block it. So he puts it on the bottom row. All right. Let's take a look at that. Yep, 19. That's a bad draw. That's going to be a problem for us. Well... Maybe not. They've got a bad draw, too. Are they going to place it? Nope. And the other one we have to worry about is our end opponent over here. He's He or she is closest to us at this point. That's a good draw for them. So it's going to put them one. We're one behind still. But that helps us close the gap a little bit. Let's see what our next player gets. Player two gets a 20. They switch out. That lets us catch up to them. So hopefully it depends on what player four does over here. If they switch out, we'll be in the lead. We'll be tied for the lead again. If they are able to place, we'll still be one out. But the game's not over yet. It could boil down literally to the last clover. So so we always have to watch that and make sure that you know that, that last you know that we we play as much as possible. The, the trick here is to play everything you can and try to organize it so that you don't get yourself stuck. All right, so that six will drop here because it's a good low number to fill in our left column and uh, give us some flexibility in the row here. Right now, it's still a little tight only because we need 11 or 12 in that space to fill it in. Over here, we can get by with a 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, or, or well, 12, 13, 14, or 15 here. We're blocked out of the 10 by the 11 here. So let's see what we get next. Uh, 15 is perfect for here. We have more range flexibility here. It seems to me that a lot of people who get victories in this game 
usually get them from having an edge clover left at the very end and a gap of about five or six numbers between the two borders of that clover. So we're setting ourselves up to be in pretty good shape here. Um, we're in contention with player two. So it looks like it may boil down to what we draw in the next round. Um, that 11 will be good for us. If they pass it, we will take it. Right now, he can't take that 11 without causing a problem. He doesn't. He passes it. So apparently, he may be thinking, I'm going to pass it too, but I'm not because I'll fit perfectly right in there. Now we have a good range in here. We can get anything from a 7 to a 15 to complete this space. Player 2 has the same range, but we go, we're we luckily ahead of them in the turn order. So, barring a bad draw, we may be able to lock this one up. And I think we will, because the 14's up here on the board. We will grab it, put it down there, and that's the win. Cool. So, let's say great game, guys. Great game, everyone. So we're off to a good start this afternoon.